this lecture we are going to solve an important problem of successive differentiation or repeated differentiation and the problem is if x plus y this is equal to 1 then prove that the nth derivative of x to the power n y to the power of n is given by this result okay to prove this result here we use two important rule the first rule is the rule of successive differentiation of Leibniz rule or it is also said to be Leibniz theorem of successive differentiation and this rule said that uv n suffix n denote the number of derivative and this is given by given by u n d that is the derivative of first function u is n times and derivative of second function there is no derivative second function is remains unchanged in the first term and the second term is nc1 u n minus 1 v1 similarly nc2 u n minus 2 v2 and so on and the suffix denote the number of derivative and also we use here another rule of successive differentiation this is d k x to the power n this is this is the operator differential operator d k this is equivalent to d k by d x k that is the derivative k times with respect to x this is equal to n factorial by n minus k factorial into x to the power n minus k right we use this to result here we first let z this is equal to x to the power n into y to the power n and since it is given that x plus y this is equal to 1 so y this is equal to 1 minus x and putting this value here x to the power n into 1 minus x to the power n okay now we have to find d n z or z that is the nth derivative of z and this is d n x to the power n into 1 minus x or to the power n now we choose this is the first function and this is the second function and using the language rule of successive differentiation we get the derivative of first function n times and the second function remains unchanged second term is nc1 nc1 into derivative of first function is n minus 1 times into 1 minus x whole to the power n derivative is 1 times in the third term nc2 d n minus 2 x to the power n into d square 1 minus x whole to the power n similarly we write all the term and the last term is the last term is here 1 because this is ncn and we know that ncn this is equal to 1 we write here ncn into the first term is remains same and the derivative of second term is n times okay this is the Leibniz proof now we use here here, here and here this formula directly and write that this is n factorial by this is n that is k equal to n and n equal to n so we put n minus n or 0 factorial and this is x to the power n minus n that is x to the power 0 so this is 1 and the second term is 1 minus x whole to the power n plus nc1 from here we write n factorial by n minus n plus 1 factorial because the value of k is n minus 1 and this is x to the power n minus n plus 1 and the derivative of this term is n into 1 minus x whole to the power n and another 1 minus 1 because 
the derivative of this is equal to minus 1 n into 1 minus x to the power n. And now the third term is n c 2. This is given by n factorial by 2 factorial from here. This is n plus 2 and x to the power n minus n plus 2 n minus n plus 2 into n into n minus 1 into x to the power n minus 2 into minus 1 to the power 2 because the derivative of this 2 times getting minus 2 2 times that is minus 1 to the power 2 and similarly we write the last term this is given by the last term is here we write last term this is n factorial by n factorial into 0 factorial because n c n and x to the power n is fixed and the derivative of this is given by we use here also this result and this gives n factorial by n minus n factorial because here n here n and this is 1 minus x so to the power n minus n because n and k both are n and we get here minus 1 to the power n because the derivative of this term n times so we get minus 1 to the power n now we see that in all the term there be a factorial n factorial n and in all the term there will be a factorial n okay here also be factorial n so we take common factorial n from all the terms we get factorial n into we get 0 factorial means 1 x to the power n minus n that is x to the power 0 so this is also 1 so we get 1 minus x to the power n from the first term right and from the second term we get a minus we write here minus m c 1 and we get from here n by this is 1 factorial this is 1 factorial because n minus n cancel out and this is given by x into 1 minus x whole to the power n minus 1 sorry this is n minus 1 because the derivative of 1 minus x first time from here we get this is again plus because minus 1 to the power 2 so n c 2 this is 1 by 2 factorial and in the upper term we write here n into n minus 1 okay and we get x squared because n n cancel out and from here this is sorry this is not x this is 1 minus x whole to the power n minus 2 okay and this is 1 minus x whole to the power n minus 2 and so on and getting the last term as we first write minus 1 to the power n and from here this is x to the power n and 1 minus x to the power 0 this is 1 and we take common n factorial here and this n factorial this n factorial cancel out this is 0 factorial also this is 0 factorial okay so all the term is equal to 1 so the last term is only this right and this is our final derivative okay so we say that zn this is equal to n factorial into we now again put the value of 1 minus x this is equal to y so we get this is y to the power n minus nc1 and this is also nc1 because nc1 this means n okay so we put here nc1 another so nc1 whole square into x into y to the power n minus 1 plus this term is nc2 and this is also nc2 because nc2 means n into n minus 1 by 2 factorial so nc2 whole square into x square into y to the power n minus 2 and similarly the last term we write minus 1 to the power n into x to the power n okay and clearly this is our required result we want okay very simply we prove the nth derivative of x to the power n into y to the power n to get the required result 
using very important rule of successive differentiation. This is said to be Leibniz rule of successive differentiation. Right? This is the today's class. Thank you. Thank you.